Hello campers, back out in the Australian Alps. We've just stopped here for lunch. Just wanted to show you this campsite we've come across here in the mountains. Just over there, a nice Hilberg tent, I think it is. I've dug into the slope, found a very uh, wind protected location to put up their tent. Come in close. That can be a bit scary. I can imagine digging into a spot like this, but definitely, absolutely windproof, I'd say. Is it a Hillburger? Winter light. 300 Ann Avenue, Seattle, Washington. No. I think it's an American made tent using the MSR stove system down there. Looks like a whisper light. Aluminium pot. They're not, not worried about their fuel freezing obviously they must be using shell light shell light being one of the best fuels for antifreeze won't freeze until it reaches about minus 40 celsius there's a snow shovel interesting snow shovel let's look up here really nice digging nice digging work here i reckon really nice next to this embankment so, a bit of snow craft skills here. Knowing where to put the tent, where to dig. Oh, also got a solar panel here collecting a bit of electricity. That's interesting. <laughs> Pointing perfectly in the right direction. There's the sun over there at north. Christina coming over to have a look. What do you think, sweetie? Yeah, it's nice. Nice tent? How do you feel, sweetie? Got your nice sparkly hat on today? You're not cold? No. What? No, there's no one in there. No. Take me a photo of that. Getting a photo with the tent. On her iPhone. So there we go, Canvas. Just thought we'd show you that um, tent set up. Instead of looking at our tent all day, you can get a picture of what other um, cross country snow hikers or snow skiers do with their tent. Really nice setup there. Nice snow dugout. Well, that's that. We'll come back to you when we reach the hut. Maybe you can smash it with your foot now, yeah? You can't smash. Over there.
The Sil Silky Comtaro 300. Nice little saw. Shall you go, uh, water, get the water. You trying to figure out? Yeah. Stopping for a rest. That bucket must weigh 10 kilos. <laughs> maybe more, maybe 15. And there's the hut up on top of the hill. Hello there. We're back at the hut. It's just on sunset. And just found an echidna here in the snow. You wouldn't believe it unless you'd seen it. Look at this guy. He's been dug in there for weeks by the looks of it. Look at that. And he is alive. He's actually breathing. You can see his body moving. And there's the hut. And this is this is Australia. <laughs> Beautiful. Nice hut we've got here. He's got a satellite phone over there, has he? No, just a cell phone. Oh, he's got a signal. Okay. Where is that sitting? The echidna. Where? Got a bit of company here, a couple of cross country skiers. Beautiful little fire we've got going. So, go and have a look at the echidna. But my. I don't have a. My. My shoes is in there. Is that your bed, is it? Inside know. your sleeping bag? Huh? Yeah, <laughs> minus 15 degree sleeping bag. Yes. Nice and cozy. Go sleep early. 8 a.m. campers. There's the hut in the background. You might just be able to make it out. Just up there. So this is the end of this trip. This footage has been a bit rough. It's probably not going to come out well when we edit it. Uh, later in the year we're going to have a couple of gear videos coming out. Uh, new camping equipment 2017 should be coming soon. I've got quite a few new content videos coming. Another one will be the way my PSK survival bug out bum bag has developed. Got a few improvement ideas there I'd like to share with you. Lots of gear, tips, and ideas we've learnt from other bushwalkers out here in the snow. So I know lately we've been uploading. Um, a lot of old content videos, kind of like reruns. Just haven't been in the mood for making new videos, but we'll be coming to you soon with plenty, of, plenty of fresh content. Thanks for watching Bush Channel. Happy camping. <laughs>